Hey, how are you doing? My name is BCP here, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a commentary over part of an MK14 Moab. Um, I just cut out the beginning because even though I have specialist, uh, I believe uh, a lot of it was like flags. I think I kept like four flags and I got like four kills. Um, and also because uh, it was also a theater mode, uh, also as well. But that's not really that important. Um, today I want to be talking about some Call of Duty Ghost information real quick. Um, and I do only have, I'm kind of rushing this commentary, so that's why it's also short as well. But basically, um, there hasn't been a date confirmed. So, with Call of Duty Ghosts multiplayer reveal trailer, um, it has not been confirmed yet. There was a tweet by Mark Rubin, who's one of the, um, uh, I think he's like one of the designers of the game. Uh, he said something like, you know, pushing for. he sent out a tweet saying, you know, pushing forward the last, you know, death march of the game. Uh, the multiplayer reveal should be sometime in August. And someone replied to him and said, you know, when in August, you know, middle, uh, late, uh, early, uh, he goes middle. And that's around the same time that Gamescon in Cologne, Germany. Yeah, Deutschland. Um, German, the, uh, Gamescon in Cologne, Germany, which takes place every year there, um, is taking place. And that's what happened with Black Ops 2. You know, with Black Ops 2, there was this big competitive tor tournament. And, you know, the people got to see the game, and there was all this uh, different stuff that happened. So, I'm wondering if they're going to do the same thing with Call of Duty Ghosts. You know, I don't, I believe it's the 16th of August. Don't quote me on it. I don't know when Gamescon officially is, but I think it's like the 16th um, of August is when it is in uh, Germany. And, uh, you know, there, there could be some multiplayer reveal stuff. There could be some... Uh, Know, like, cause I remember last year sometime, uh, they got a bunch of commentators got to go to a place and record the gameplay. I don't remember if it was in Cologne, Germany, in Gamescon. Maybe it was somewhere else. But wherever it was, uh, they got to record it and upload like a 30 second clip. So I wonder if they're gonna do the same thing with Call of Duty Ghosts. Um, I mean, from f as far as what I've seen, the game seems to be all right. I mean, I haven't seen that much, but the way. Th I feel that it's good that they're taking uh, the campaign in a different way. They're setting the game apart. It's not going to be another modern warfare game because for the what the last six uh, years, the last three Infinity War games have been all modern warfare. Um, I don't know if I like how it's all going into futuristic. I like to see. I liked how Black Ops had it in the Cold War, but they kept like um, modern. It's like the G11 wasn't even there during the Cold War. Or during that time period, but they brought it in as kind of like a futuristic gun. Even though no one really used that gun, I'm just saying. Um, I mean, I know a couple people that use it, but I'm trying to say is that you know they made the game not feel like it was in 19 the 1960s, you know, 1970s. Um, anyways, that's basically it for me. Um, I'm about to get the mob. I got it right here. And yeah, so um, look forward to some more Call of Duty Ghost news. Look forward to more some just random commentaries and stuff. I'm gonna be doing some more zombies uh, uh, stuff in right there. I get Dead Man's Hand. <laughs> Sorry about that. I didn't even realize I had that on. But other than that, I uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I really did hope you guys enjoyed. And make sure to click that like button, comment, and subscribe to be the coolest kid in skew. I'm out, guys. Bye.